Jesus has been taken down from the cross and hurriedly placed in the tomb, uh, wrapped with strips of linen mixed with myrrh and aloe. It was not a proper burial, but it was a hasty burial. It was a respectful laying to rest. He's placed in a tomb that belonged to Joseph of Arimathea, and there is a stone that is rolled across the face of the tomb. Uh, guards are placed. A Roman seal is placed on the tomb to make sure that no one comes and steals his body, to make sure that no one comes and moves his body so that they can't claim that he rose from the dead. There, there's actually a, uh, a, a, a guards that are placed outside his tomb so that no one will disturb Jesus' burial place. It is a preparation. It is very quick because the day is drawing to a close and the Sabbath is starting. However, it is a preparation. It is a readiness of saying, we wanted to be sure that we were respectful of Jesus and that we could bury him, although hurriedly, in a proper way. It just makes me think. Here we are on Friday, and it is an opportunity for us to be reminded not just this Friday, but really any weekend. How are we preparing? As we gather together on Sunday, as we celebrate Easter, as we gather together every Sunday to celebrate the Lord's Day, how do we use every moment available to prepare, to get our minds and our hearts right for what God wants to do in our lives? Can you imagine the joy of the people that hastily prepared Jesus for burial when on Sunday morning they found that their burial place had been vacated. What a celebration that was because their minds and their hearts were ready for what Jesus would do.